Good morning people and welcome to Muckross House in Killarney. This is my first time ever in Muckross House. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful, uh, great nature walks, landscape, everything in it. So this is my first experience of Muckross House. Just a little, a little uh, chilly start of the morning down here. This is the first first morning I put on my jumper. But um they're saying that it's supposed to be um a warm day today, but at the minute there's no sunshine, it's just cloud cover. So I'm gonna over to take a picture of this house here. This this is not now the muckross house, this is not kind of a small looking place here. It looks lovely looking. Have a look at it. So the little farm is not open until 1 p.m. So I'll come back and do that. Pretty cool house, all right. I think. Queen Victoria stayed here on one of her visits to Ireland. Something else, isn't it? Amazing. It's a pretty impressive house, all right, house and gardens. Um, I didn't look up on Google about Muckross House, but I think it was some wealthy British British MP that owned um, here first, and then it was sold to some American, and then it was left to the Irish state. So um, yeah, it's an, you have to remember as a, the reason all these fantastic houses all over Ireland exist is because the British ruled Ireland for 800 years and they carved up all the land for themselves of course and all the lords and the ladies of, ladies at the time um, lived in these palatial palaces if you want to call them homes uh, while the Irish unfortunately were the peasants working for them but however they wouldn't have left, left us with this beautiful um, house it's absolutely stunning, stunning. Oh, look at this rose garden here, isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Wow, I'd say that tree is pretty old. Look at the circumference of the tree, the weight of it, look. Wow, pretty cool. Big fern tree of some kind. I was expecting this place to be jam-packed with people. Maybe, maybe it will. It's only um, let me see now. It's only 20 to 11 in the morning here, so uh, maybe it will. I have seen people back there, but I'm here in this part totally on my own here. It's just, it's just like heaven. And listen, quietness, stillness. The only thing that you can hear is boards chirping from time to time. 
I think that's a sycamore tree there. I could be wrong, but I think it is. I'm not, I, I'm terrible at the names of trees, but I love trees. Wow. Oh look, isn't that gorgeous? See the, the fallen tree here and the, there's ferns growing on the moss on top of the tree. That's just cool to see. I like that. I'm going to get a picture of that, I think. I'm just strolling around today. I feel a little bit, not pain, uh, ache on my thighs here because I climbed up Karen Tuhill yesterday. So I'm just taking it easy, easy today. More just chilling today. This is my last full day. I'm going back home tomorrow. Unusual little structure this. Wooden. There's um one of the timbers off this seat here is missing, I see. And there is a lat off that side there broken, but it could do with a good um coat of either uh, uh, paint or um what would you call it, preservative or something. It'd be a shame just to knock it down. Or I mean to let, let, let it just uh, rot. It's, it's nice right in the middle of this little little meadow here. Surrounded by all the trees. Nobody here. Amazing, isn't it? Nobody. Just me. Chilling. Chilling in the morning air in Killarney. Muckross House. Cool. just heard the jaunting car driver saying that this is the oldest tree in the park but he didn't say how old it was I guess a couple of a hundred years old maybe definitely I say over a hundred years old pretty cool Just looking at the trees here, right? There's three of them here. Look, see the way they're like leaning out towards the lake. Um, I wonder why do some trees grow like that? Are they trying to reach the light, or is it the wind coming through the coming through the woodland or something? Um, they're all like okay. Like I mean, most of them are straight, and and then they got their branches coming off the main trunk and um, but each individual tree is different which is if you really look at trees properly they are they are beautiful and I know we need them like in the construction industry but not here like this, is, this is all protected here but I mean they are the oxygen for our planet the trees we should be looking after them better than we do. I know what this this tree here is called. It's called the monkey a monkey puzzle tree, and the reason why I know is because I used to have one, <clears throat> and they say it would take what's it? Is it ten years? No, thirty years to grow ten feet. So that's must be sixty years old that tree there. Um, Muckross House there. I was just uh, walking along there, and there was a jaunting cart passing by and I heard the guy on a jaunting car telling the people that um, 
you know the American TV show uh, Dynasty or Dynasty, right? Well, the main house on that TV show was um, designed on the design of Muckross House. So there's a bit of useless information for you that I picked up from a jaunting cart driver just passing by. Um, so continuing along the walk on uh, uh, the Middle Lake here. This is called the Middle Lake. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just walking around this forest uh, peninsula, if you want to call it, or a head here in Muckross House, and there is endless picturesque views of uh, the surrounding mountains and the lakes. So there's no point in me just um, videoing every every little bit I go, but it's all spectacular scenery like this here. vegetable soup and tea and uh, a lemon and what's that lemon curd cheesecake as well thanks so just having the um, bowl of vegetable soup here in the Dennis cottage tea room here in Killarney on Muckross Lake Mm. Beautiful. Homemade brown bread and vegetable soup. Tea, pot of tea, which is, there's more than two cups of tea in that. And a lemon cord cheesecake for 12 euros. It's not bad. Delicious, delicious. Lemon cord cheesecake. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Cheers, people. Well, that was a nice um, pot of tea, um, vegetable soup, and homemade brown bread, and a lemon cord cheesecake in Dina's uh, cafe or coffee shop, wherever it was, little house there, cottage. Sorry, Dina's, Dini, Dina's cottage. Um, so from Dina's cottage to Mockross House, they're saying it's 4.5 kilometers. And already I've done 13,000 steps. So I wasn't planning on doing much walking today but however it's now 20 past one I'm just going to stroll at a leisurely pace back towards Muckross house and hopefully the little farm uh, that's there will be opened so continue on this way here so this is the bridge that links I think I think that's Muckross lake there and this is the main lake in Killarney Loch Leanne or something here um, and the little boats are able to go under this bridge from that lake into um, Muckross Lake. I think this is the middle lake, I'm not too sure. Little boat out there that's bringing people to Dina's De um, cottage for tea. Um, I can't really show you on the GoPro because I can't zoom in it, but just over in this paddock here beside that tree are cows specific to this area. They're actually a breed called uh, the Kerry cow. See they're, they're completely black and they're kind of a small, small in stature and they're mainly found only in Kerry. Maybe that's why they're called Kerry, a uh, Kerry cow, the breed. But um, yeah, under the, under the tree there, in the shade. So that was, um, I'm after walking around here since 10 o'clock this morning and it's now 20 past two. Oh, I wasn't expecting to do to do that. Um, I wouldn't feel as bad if it hadn't if I'd 
climbed up Carantool yesterday, but no pain, no gain, huh? Lovely stillness here too. Just gorgeous. Just having the tea here in a uh, Oak Ross house. And um, this chicken salad in the bowl and a pot of tea was 14 euros 95, 15 euros. I think that's highway robbery. It's some pad, isn't it? As houses go. Wow. Mind blowing stuff. Mind blowing.